Hey guys, this video is just a brief helper for a specific problem. If your first layer looks like this when it's printing, and then looks like this when it's done, or even worse, it catches on the nozzle and fails like this, this is likely to be caused by over-extrusion. But don't tune out just yet, there's two first layer specific reasons why you might be over-extruding even if your extrusion rate is correct for the rest of the print. Let's check them out. first reason is pretty simple, your bed is too close. Notice here how lowering the bed literally solved the problem straight away. This is something that happens when the bed is out by a tiny tiny bit, so don't get carried away. What you see here as a fix was one quarter turn of the front and back levelling wheels on the left hand side, too much and your part won't stick to the bed at all. And it's worth noting that the opposite of this effect is when you see spacers between the lines on the bed. Reason number two is a little more nuanced. See here in Prusa Slicer we have a setting under layers and perimeters called first layer height. And under advanced we have first layer for extrusion width. And over in Cura we have the equivalent with quality initial layer line width, initial layer height and initial layer flow and these are all percentages. Now all these settings are intended for when you have issues with your build plate, be it not level or not smooth, to essentially put more filament down to fudge the layer into sticking better to the build plate. While that can be a good thing, if you're printing on a perfectly aligned build plate, for example glass, it has the opposite effect. It makes things worse. The solution in this case is to reset all of these values to the same rate as every other layer, in Prusa Slicer that's done by setting absolute values or zero. In Cura you just use 100%. Of course you can then observe the print and dial the initial layer extrusion settings back up a bit if you need to. Don't forget also that there are settings for something called elephant foot compensation, which shrinks the physical size of the first layer. Generally you want this set to on. I use a value of 0.2mm in Prusa Slicer and it seems to work. It's also the default. I've not tested this in Cura, but I noticed the default in Cura is zero so it would be sensible to experiment with a negative value here, noting that it's negative in that it works the opposite way to Prusa Slicer. Well that's it folks, this ought to get your first layers smooth and without any weird patterns in them. Please ask any questions in the comments, if you thought this was useful please like, and stick around for more. Thank you for watching. <laughs>